What is going on everybody? Dave K here today, back in Florida. Love to be soaking in these sun rays. So excited to share this video with you, telling you my thoughts. Orlando versus Dallas. I'm visiting Orlando area once again, and the home of Mickey Mouse. You may uh, hope to see here today, or Disney World. You may hope to see here in this vlog. Let me know in the comments below. And we'll see if I get to him and add him into the end of this one, or if I'll get a chance to add him into another one. But here and uh, sharing with you my thoughts on the two cities. One of the biggest things I appreciate about Orlando area is the weather. I've got to say, I love that it's always nice weather out here. It rains. It does rain a lot out here, but it never gets as cold as it does in Dallas. It doesn't get as hot in the summertime, I will say, either. It's more temperate in central Florida. And I feel like being central, you're pretty safe from those uh, hurricanes as well. We do have tornadoes in North uh, DFW, so something to note. Uh, although never really had it that bad myself. I was out of town when, when some friends uh, sheltered in place for one, so. Yeah, I've got to keep the weather to Central Florida in the Orlando area here. I certainly enjoy coming out here for a relaxing, sunny getaway from time to time. Although you gotta, you know, keep in mind that there may be rain. But that being said, I don't feel like I get the same level of community with uh, with Orlando. And by community, I don't mean a nice uh, resort <laughs> with hot tubs and pools and stuff. I mean, uh, I mean, like, activities, people that I enjoy spending time with, activities for things for me to go and do and see. Uh, like gaming clubs, young and social and things like that. Different uh, activities. I'm losing my phone here. <laughs> my grip, not so good. Hopefully the audio is okay in this waterproof case, by the way. You'll have to let me know. But I feel like there's more sort of young people activities in Dallas. And that's a pretty big thing for me, I've got to say. You know, it's, it's nice to have, again, nice weather, hot tubs and all that good stuff. I do miss a good hot tub, so you can see I'm enjoying one now. But, um, but to have other young people to do things with, have nice social events, sort of open, welcoming spaces. I feel like everybody's so friendly in Texas. That is such a big thing to me. So these are, these are some of my biggest things going for Dallas and Orlando um, in terms of, of items that I appreciate. I think you get tricky drivers in both. You get some scary bugs in DFW. Uh, Black Widow Spider had an interaction with one not long ago. Managed to uh, remove that from the situation, but it was scary just to see it. Uh, you don't get deadly spiders, I don't think, out here, I don't think. But then you get snakes. Snakes are also scary. Snakes and spiders, two I don't love. So, uh, you know, it depends. Pick your poison, right? Uh, driving, you know, I was complaining about DFW traffic for quite a while. I'm like, oh, these are some of the the worst drivers. I think they're aggressive drivers. Uh, I think they're fast on the roads. Um, but I almost feel like coming back to Orlando, <laughs> I almost feel like a more seasoned driver now in managing some of these drivers out here. And these drivers are unique as well. So it depends what you like. Now I will tell you, I drove out here from DFW. It was a 17 hour drive. Quite a hike from Dallas area to drive out to Orlando area. Uh, it was two nights, or uh, two days, one night. So I stopped. This trip, you know, I've done the drive before, as you may have seen on my, my travel from Orlando to Nashville to Dallas back to here. I did that long road trip. Um, I, this time around, I stayed in Jackson, so somewhere a little bit different. Uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, just because I wanted to sing that song and those lyrics. But, uh, you know, it's a fine hotel. I stopped over in Jackson, but just so you know, it's a really long drive. In my opinion, it takes two days, especially uh, if you're by yourself. You know, if you don't have the time to, uh, to split it up with two people. 17 hours is a long time for one person to drive. And of course you got stops for gas and restroom and food and stuff. So even more than 17 hours, it seems like too much in one day if you ask me. That being said, there is a lot I like about Florida. I wanted to check out some of the Miami area. I think it'd be nice to see if there's young people and community and events and activities out there. There's dating as well, I would say. It's nice in Dallas, but uh, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see uh, what that's like in South Florida. Cause just, I've heard there's a lot more young people in that area, maybe even Tampa area as well. Conversely, I've also thought about further south in Texas. You know, Austin has lots of young people and um, and things to do as well. You get nicer weather than you would get in Dallas. Uh, so that's something to think about as well. You know, there's Houston, but Houston, I was out there for that hurricane. I, I don't know about that weather <laughs> either. So things to note, but I will say um, there's so many options out there. Now I was like, you know, I like warmer weather. So I'm like, okay, south, what other south options do we have? Maybe Phoenix? maybe Los Angeles. I feel like LA is so expensive. I love not paying state income tax, which is kind of why I favor Texas and Florida, but I'm open to considering other places too, right? Phoenix, things like that. And I'm so lucky to be able to travel as much as I am, right? To be here right now in Florida, to have been able to spend so much time in Europe. I'm thinking about some fun trips coming up. I'm like, maybe I should try Australia. That would be amazing. 
be a nice way to get away from winter in Dallas, if you ask me. So uh, I'm very fortunate in that sense. And there's something nice about DFW as well in the proximity for travel, right? Uh, of course, Orlando area does have major international airport, um, but DFW has two major airports, at least in my opinion, because I fly, fly Love Field so often because I fly Southwest usually, but they also have DFW and I think there's FTW as well. Um, there's, there's a lot of airports uh, and there's accessibility to both coasts. So if you're seeing someone out in California or you're seeing someone out in Florida, it's a lot easier for you to go either way, both ways, than it is to be on one coast and be trying to fly out to the other. So that is certainly an advantage, being central. And that's why I think so many airlines seem to be headquartered out in uh, the DFW area. Another thing I appreciate, oh, job opportunities. <laughs> that's another great thing. There's so much uh, there's so much business out in the DF DFW, I feel like, that you may not find in, uh, in Orlando area. And I think they're both growing. And that's another thing I really like, right? The growth of these areas. And I look for areas that are growing. That's a tricky thing with LA too is uh, I'm not so sure it's growing. It might be slowing down a little bit, people moving out. And I like the, uh, the growth. I can go out somewhere quiet, enjoy my peace and quiet for a while. People kind of come into the neighborhood sort of thing. Uh, it's nice, you know, I like, I like the quiet. So uh, quiet, but, but lots to do in the broader area. So I would say high level in the short term. I don't really see myself leaving the DFW area too soon. I'm very happy with it. Nice people, nice place, lots of community otherwise. Again, might run away every winter. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't mind the heat as much as some others might, but uh, I don't love the cold, as you may know. Um, so don't see myself leaving Dallas in the immediate future, but I, I do see myself coming back to visit Orlando pretty regularly, just to enjoy the sun, soak in those vibes. Or maybe South Florida, or maybe, what do they call it, West Florida, Tampa area. Um, I've heard usually staying south, you know, Tampa, Orlando, and southward is usually more preferable. Like there's more going on, young people and things like that too. It's interesting for Orlando, right? You've got Disney, but it's mostly, it feels like young couples uh, and they're a different stage in life versus like young singles. You know, it's harder for dating and things like that too. So, These are just kind of things that come to mind. Uh, I'm really glad to be back in Florida. I'm really glad to be soaking in this warm weather, really appreciating, you know, the, the amenities and the communities and things like that in terms of hot tubs and all that jazz. Lazy rivers you've seen me in before and all that too. Uh, I might end up going over to the park, to the springs, to the resorts, uh, and I like those too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If there's anything in particular you're hoping to see most while I'm in the Orlando area. But um, there's, again, there's a lot to appreciate and there's a lot to like, and I don't think it's a bad area either. I just, I seem to feel and find more community for myself thus far in the DFW area. So that's my, my hot take thus far. In terms of moving in the nor near term, probably not. In terms of moving a little bit longer, I'd like to check out South Florida. Um, you know, I thought about checking out LA again as well. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, what did you think of this video? What would you like to see more of? Do you want to see more travel? Do you want to see more thoughts on Dallas versus Orlando? Do you want to see anything in particular while I'm here in Orlando? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I know I'm, I'm a little slower on the videos lately. Maybe it seems like I'm still uh, doing every week, for example. But it's been a long time since I come back from Europe. I just had to edit through it all. So, and I didn't have a, lot, a whole lot of new stuff <laughs> uh, since I've been back. I've just been editing and working and all that. So, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for helping me get an amazing day. Don't forget to make your day an incredible day as well. Focus on the positive vibes. Look for the silver lining in everything you do. Hit that thumbs up button because you know you liked it. Subscribe for more whenever that may be. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts and I'm just gonna share whatever. Whatever feels good, whatever comes to mind but doesn't hear it to hurt your thoughts. So thanks for being a part of it. Until next time, bye y'all. This is fine. And take a look at the Whispering Canyon here. We have the cornbread. We're getting a couple of skillets. So you can see some of the view here, which is very nice. Uh, and more of the restaurant there behind us. Nice to see you back in Wilderness Lodge for the first time in a long time. Let's do it. And take a look at the traditional and the land and sea skillets. You can see that there. Nice variety here between us. And um, the cornbread was quite nice, by the way. I don't need that butter. It doesn't seem like real butter. But, uh, but nice to have some skillets. That's all we can eat. So, I would say the best things are the sausage, the chicken, and I feel like that's about it, honestly. Don't really uh, love uh, too much of it in general. Probably wouldn't put it on my short list to be back, but uh, corn is not bad, uh, and veggies don't hurt. Salmon's okay, too, but really, chicken and sausage are the best. And now, a quick visit to Disney Springs here. Let's see how it goes. Looking forward to seeing some sunshine, and perhaps Mr. Mickey. I'll be out here today. Don't bet on it. <laughs> Not too crowded though, this is nice. Take a look at Summer House of the Lake here. I've got my fish tacos. So see how the fish tacos are. Looking forward to digging in. They look pretty good. Three juicy ones here. 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from the First Watch restaurant and cafe, you have the shrimp and grits, which looks oh, fantastic, actually. I'm really excited to dig into that one. It looks like it. well done. And here's your Hawaiian French toast. Both seasonal spring items. A very good beef at Sick Out Coast today. And here is the Salmon Eggs Benedict, because I was told you should see it. Enjoy. And take a look at the Polynesian here. We have the uh, cold pork nachos. They've made them smaller. I will say first watch was nice. Avocado toast was the best thing there. And uh, let's dig into this and see how it goes. And the other place was nice too. Summer House on the Lake had great fish tacos as well. And here is the noodles. You know, we always like the uh, Captain Cook's. So here's the noodles with the shrimp from uh, Captain Cook's.